I'm the manager for the YWCA Single Mom Support Program. I think one of the uh, things that me, people don't see is the uh, invisible homelessness. A lot of time when you see people homeless, you, you picture someone um, you know, sleeping on the street in a you know, sleeping bag and they may have a mental health illness or they have a drug addiction problem. But a lot of times when we experience or when we work with uh, people who are um, uh, experiencing homelessness or at risk of homelessness, they are usually not those that you see. And when they are facing homelessness, one of the things that's most inspiring to me is to watch them really not lose hope. And I think that's very hard to do when you are in that kind of situation, um, when you don't have a roof over your head. That's that's um, you. Uh, people don't understand what it feels like unless you experience it. I've seen um, single moms uh, around, you know, the, provide all kinds of support to that moms who are going through that homelessness. Not only, you know, helping her find housing, uh, telling her, like, I have a, a housing in my building, a unit, someone's moving out, come apply. Or that they would offer their own place for them, the families to stay. Um, we have moms help, the, you know, organize a, a, a moving party, what well, they call it party, but not quite party, but a moving uh, crews uh, to help the moms pack the stuff because often they have to leave in a hurry um, you know compact and also move their stuff to a new house or store their stuff in their own little tiny apartment so that the family wouldn't lose all their uh, belongings so with affordable housing and stable and safe housing what we see is that um, families and single moms in those situations are able to focus on their other goals in improving a life for the children. They can focus on their career, they can focus on developing you know, education and training. Um, so we do see um, a lot of them after coming to the housing, accessing a lot of the support from the YWCA, you know, single mom housing, employment program and things like that. And they are better off and one of the most rewarding thing is to see them move out of the single mom housing because they become financially stable. They're not to judge them by thinking, oh well, they are homeless because of poor choices or because they, you know, they are not really smart enough to, um, or, or hardworking enough to make enough money to, to afford. Like I said, a lot of times our situation is out beyond their control.